A warm welcome to the newsroom. Fire has gutted Sabo Market in Shagamu, Open State, early Tuesday morning. According to reports, the fire is yet put out by the fire services at the time of filing this report. The reason for the fire remains unknown. This fire is coming barely 48 hours after fire gutted the popular Amu Timber Market. Two weeks after an NNTC pipeline exploded in the Bulegba area of Bay. President Muhammad Buhari has condemned the fresh attack on Kwata's village in Bokos local government area of Plateau State, which resulted in the killing of 13 persons. This was disclosed in a statement signed on Monday by the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Garba Shehu. Buhari urged security agencies on assignment in the state to rediscover their act and stop the return of the ugly days of Tipo attack. The Cross River State Government has launched an awareness campaign to prevent the outbreak of Lassa fever in the state. Amid reports of the death of at least 29 people from 11 states, the government said it was committed to ensuring that the outbreak of the disease does not spread to the state. The State Commissioner for Health, Peta Edu, led the campaign to UJEP in Yakor local government area of the state on Monday. Edu gave an assurance that the state was Lassa fever free we call for the cooperation of the people of the community in adhering to the preventive measures put by the government. The Joint Admission and Matriculation Board JAMB revealed that it had made a total sum of 2.27 billion naira in one week of selling forms for the 2020 Unified Tertiary Matriculations Examinations UTME for admission seekers in the nation's tertiary institutions. This was contained in the weekly newsletter of the board detailing some of its activities from January 17 to January 23, 2020. Under the column financial inflow, the money was made from the sales of e-registration team, e-facility sales, and CBT center services charges. There are indications that power distribution firms across the country plan to reflect the new value-added tax of 7.5% on all their transactions beginning from February 1st, as announced by the federal government. Head Branding and Corporate Communications at IBEDC, Angela Orlan Raju, made the disclosure in a statement. Orlan Raju said the management's decision of, on the review was necessitated by the federal government's increase in the value added tax from 5% to 7.5%. Following this, she said a single phase meter, which used to cost 38,325 naira, would now cost 39,237 naira. Eight people have died in a massive fire that swept through dock boats on the banks of Guntersville Lake in the southern U.S. state of Alabama. The fire began just after midnight and quickly consumed the dock as people slept. The wooden dock and at least 35 vessels went up in flames and an aluminum roof that covered many of the boats melted and collapsed, cutting off escape routes and raining debris over the area. It was not clear what caused the fire, but authorities say search and rescue efforts would last at least three to four days, adding that the primary objective is to ensure that all victims are accounted for. And in sports, the Nigeria Football Federation, NFF, says coaches for all the national teams except the Super Eagles will be named in February. Generous, General Secretary of the NFF, Mohamed Sanusi, while addressing newsmen, said the Federation has saddled consultants with the responsibility of selecting coaches for the other men and women's national team. According to him, the consultants are expected to turn in the chosen coaches for the Super Falcons, Under-23 Eagles, Flying Eagles, Falconets, Flamingos, Golden Eaglets, and Future Eagles for the NFF executive to approve and announce the appointment. And that's the latest from the newsroom. Many thanks for watching.